Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And I thought I would build another Lego set because I really enjoyed doing the Ghost Rider one not too long ago where we added the light kit to it. So I was like, you know what? Let's do something else with the light kit. So I actually picked up this Indiana Jones set uh, here because I saw online that it came with, or they offered at least on Amazon, a company that makes their own light kit for it. Uh, so I thought that was really cool because I have a different use for this. I haven't actually seen the new Indiana Jones film, um, but when I saw this backdrop, I was like, you know what? This would go really well with something else Marvel related that I have that I just got recently. So let's build it. Let's put the light kit on and then let's add our Marvel touch to it. So the set itself I really love. I like the play features on it, uh, but unfortunately one of those play features is lost when you add the light kit to it. Um, in the back there's like a drawbridge type thing that like caves in that drops down this green bridge um, underneath the little or in the little alcove or cave. That no longer drops when you add the light kit in. I tried a couple different ways to squeeze that light in there so that the trap door could still work but it doesn't work. Uh, but the other stuff still works, you know, and the snakes are a little bit illuminated now that the fire is lit, uh, which is really cool. And then you also have like the giant, you know, jackal thing, you know, that's holding up the pyramid and that t tumbles over and crashes through a wall still. So all those play features still work, but unfortunately, you know, the one in the back, the trap door does not with this light kit, but that's okay. Um, I'm not really here to play with it overall because I really wanted it for a set. I wanted it to, you know, house my new Moon Knight figures. Um, I'm so glad that Marvel, you know, and Lego did another series of those minifigures. And also just really cool that this light tailing company, they are the ones who made this one for this LED kit that goes onto the set here, which is uh, awesome. I'm so glad they do that. They have their uh, website there and I'll put a link to it down below if you want to go check it out. But I found these light kits on Amazon. Same with Ghost Rider. When I bought that one, it actually recommended, hey, if you're buying this set, you should get this with it. 
And same with this. I got this set on sale, which is really rare for Lego sets to go on sale. I got the Ghost Rider one on sale too. And these light kits are like an additional 15 bucks, some of them. So killer deal. You know, so the money I kind of saved on the set, I ended up putting into this and got it for pretty much the price of just the Lego set itself. So really, really good deal in my case. So uh, yeah, if you're into lighting stuff and, and adding lighting uh, to your Lego set, this one was trickier than the Ghost Rider one. The Ghost Rider one didn't even come with instructions because it was so easy to figure out. This one, this was easy to figure out, but you just had to be really particular where you ran the cable and how you ran it through the set so that you could hide as much as possible. Uh, so yeah, so if you're out there and you want to you know, build this, this does come with instructions though. And it shows you exactly where to feed the cables through and you just got to be very careful, <laughs> you know, just uh, make sure you don't, you know, some things are fragile on there. So just be very, very careful. If you're a kid, make sure you have an adult helping you out. And uh, it's a fun project. I love adding light sets to Lego sets now, um, but I only am going to be particular of what Lego sets I buy because I want them to fit the theme of the other background with Moon Knight and all that stuff, uh, you know, which is still kind of being worked on right now. So that's why the camera's aimed this way, because this room got finished blue finish doing this room and uh, and that room is still being worked on so once that's done hopefully in a day or two i'll be able to show that off as well in the you know future videos so and that's going to be our set moving forward with our new show uh seek at night which will replace seek and destroy so uh yeah so anyway let me know what you think of this set um, i think the tomb set in general is really cool like I said, I didn't buy it because it was Indiana Jones. I bought it because it was Egyptian and it was like a tomb. And I'm like, that's great. There was a whole episode of Moon Knight that was set in a tomb. So this will be perfect to get those figures. Uh, now that I have Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, and Werewolf by Night, it was a cool place to put them all. But now we need, you know, more Moon Knight stuff. So Lego, if you could just make a Moon Knight set with Arthur Harrow, you know, and, uh, and the Scarab, like, you know, if we could get everyone in there, um, that would be amazing. I would really like that. Uh, just one, that's all I'm asking, one Moon Knight set, uh, just with some of those other characters in minifigure form would be amazing. And maybe Amit and Khonshu, you know, as some kind of build building structure figures, uh, you know, to put in the set too. I know I'm asking for a lot, but, you know, <laughs> help me out here. I don't get a lot of Moon Knight merchandise these days. So, uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Leave your comments down below. We'll keep talking down there. See you in the future. Peace.